Whoo, it is a scorcher. You can say that again. Come on, Turk. I'm an old man. You can't just say something like that and not expect me to... No, Mr. B, you can fight it. I can't. Must resist. Nope. Whew, it is a scorcher. No, I'm docking cool points for that. I see. Did that uh, clear me out? Nah, you still got some left. Well, give me time. Cat and uh, Ram go somewhere? Yeah, they went to go get some more juice to make popsicles. Those have really been helping people cool off. Good, good. This heat wave doesn't show any signs of letting up. How are we doing on water? We're good. Say, is everything all right? Do you need a break? Have you been drinking enough water? Yeah, I have. It's not that. It's just, how long does this have to keep going? The heat wave? Well, it's hard to tell. The satellite said... No, not that. Not just the heat wave. All of it. It's just one thing after another. We've had blackouts and storms, and that fire that wiped out half that apartment complex, and now this heat wave. And it's hard. You've been out half the day repairing air conditioners and running generators for people without power, and the soup kitchen is always packed, and it's great that we are able to provide that stuff, but are we always going to need to do it? Is anything going to get better? Let's have a popsicle. Mr. B, I appreciate what you're trying to... Peach or mango? Mango. What do you think about heaven? Heaven? I don't know. Flying? Singing songs? Being with God? Clouds you can eat? Stuff like that, maybe? Yeah, that all sounds nice. What do you think about? <sighs> no more sadness, no more fear, no more worries, no more tears. Well, except maybe the good kind. You know, when you feel something so good, it just leaks out of your eyes. I think about the end to all of life's troubles, because God makes it all all right. I'll admit, sometimes it's hard to think about that it could even be possible. Sometimes so much seems wrong, how could anyone make all of this come out all right? Yeah, I mean, I believe, but man, it just seems like a lot sometimes. It really does, and that's where we're living in the middle of two worlds pulling on each other. The kingdom of God is now, and the kingdom of God is not yet. We pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, but then we see a lot that's wrong in the world. We see people who need love, and we go and love them. Whether that's handing out popsicles and water, or fixing up air conditioners, or smiling and saying, God bless you. It isn't always easy, and there's no reason to think that it will be until God makes everything right. Your kingdom come. That's right. And until then, we keep at it. Do you really know what drew me to the Salvation Army? Timbrels? Close. I learned about some of the things that William Booth did to help people. He knew the importance of helping people now, not just promising them hope eventually, someday, off in the future. It's true that we live in a fallen, broken world. It's also true that we were made to be with God, and that one day we will be. But we're now in the not yet. That's right. So we fight. We fight for what's right, and to think of what heaven would be like and try to make it happen here. Bring comfort to sadness, food to the hungry, love to the lonely. And we're not alone. The Holy Spirit, our comforter, is here to help us and guide us. God's presence now. It really is like heaven on earth, or as close as we can get, I guess. Yeah, so when it gets tough, and it often does, I like to think about heaven. I think I'll have a lot of questions. Oh, me too. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll just be that great that it all makes sense. I'm going to need to ask how God made mangoes taste so good. <laughs> yeah, talk about heaven on earth. When God made mangoes, he stuck his whole foot in it. Seriously, they taste like a unicorn carved a fruit out of what it feels like to hold a puppy.